the notched box raster. In this case we're going to make some dice. So click on the circle. And if you hold Alt and Shift and while you're doing this circle, you can get like almost a perfect circle drawn out. If you need to, click on the black arrow, click back on it, and then you can set the width and height to whatever you need. Let's go to one inch by one inch. And we can put this in the center. What is the center? You can see here that there, once you get to the center, it'll snap to the center if you have these on. Let's hit Control D. In this case, you might want to snap off. Once you find the center, you can actually just turn it off and place two here. I have to get a dice just to look at it. One second. There we go. Okay, so we want this one here and this one here. Roughly put. And let's put three in the next. Now if you want a shortcut, you can grab these four and hit Control D to duplicate them. Control D. And grab these two, Control D to duplicate those. going to do now is fill these. So right click on them, and go to fill and stroke. Choose black. So we can grab all these at the same time. Choose black. So this is where the raster comes in. Alright, let's go to layers. So this is layer one, we're gonna make this, we're gonna double click on it and say cut. Then we're gonna make another one called raster. Okay, what we need to do is place these items by holding shift and highlight them all onto the raster layer. Now there is a way to move those. And the easiest way move selection to layer above. Right now I'm on the cut layer and I'm going to put them on the other one. Perfect. 
So I now should be able to toggle this one off. This one should toggle the cut off. Now I want this little box to be part of its own. So I'm going to make another one called uh, space. Okay, This one, which is on the cut layer, needs to be moved up one layer to the space layer. And you can see how that moved up. So There we go. And this one's going to go on top of everyone. So here's my space, which aptly just turns that little box off in the corner. This one, the raster, and this one, the cut. Okay, in order for this to work, we're going to have to have the space in the cut saved as a PDF. And we'll call it boxes cut. Use the following settings. Then I will uncheck cut and go to raster and leave these two on. And this is my raster. So save as PDF. raster. Now if you want to make your box unique you can do anything. You know what I mean? Like you can put these as little hearts or different shapes, whatever. You can put your name somewhere. As long as you keep it on the raster layer. Put a little tribal design around things. It's up to you. Uh, or you can just keep it the way it is like this. All right, so that's how you make a cut and a raster. And we'll be running those two jobs on the same piece of cardboard. Raster first and then cut. So you would need both PDFs on a thumb drive in order for that to work. So that's how you make a raster layer. Enjoy.